<laughs> We've actually been on the phone with financial advisors or collection agents, as they're sometimes known. It's, uh, <laughs> semantics. <laughs> I prefer to think of myself as a non-profit organization. <laughs> Self-unemployed, and I love the freedom. <laughs> it's no joke. Unemployment's bad these days. Of course, a lot of that is people kicked off of reality shows, but it's still a huge problem. <laughs> they say Social Security by itself isn't enough for retirement. That's why I've acquired several Social Security numbers. <laughs> retirement will be a lot easier as a 65-year-old disabled widow. We actually sat down and talked to a financial advisor about retirement. He said, you really should start now acquiring a taste for cat food because it's so much harder. As you get older, more set in your ways, yeah. No, he made a lot of sense, yeah. When others are enjoying their grandkids, we'll be at Taco Bell working for hours. Stir the beans, Pop Pop. Which is a chalupa and which is a gordita? Ooh, my bursitis. <laughs> you really gotta watch your money. My bank still hasn't updated the clock on their sign for daylight savings. Makes me really confident they got my balance right. <laughs> There's scams out there. I got an email this morning from Abucha, the Nigerian diplomat's son. He, uh, Needs some help getting his deceased father's gold bars out of the country. And uh, naturally, he decided to contact me. And, uh, guess I'm kind of the go-to guy in international bullion smuggling. Uh, I was skeptical at first, but he, he did address me as dear beloved friend, so uh, gotta be okay. Says he's gonna shoot a couple gold bars my way, just needs my sosh. Well, no problem there, I think I can spare one. I get some emails, just random words strung together, right? Subject line, conjugal fritter. Mm. I do not know how to feel about this. Better click on that attachment. That's probably the explanatory documents. Mm, computer stop working. Sure hope those gold bars get here soon. Come on, Abuja. At least we have health insurance now. For many years, I couldn't afford it. I did have auto insurance, covered health in case of an accident. So every time I got sick, I had to drag myself into the car. <laughs> Run her into a tree again. <laughs> Not a shrub left in my neighborhood, people. It's, uh... 